Shabbat The whole thing was skibble, was just deep meaning, man. Went back 27 years, we toured all over the world together. He'd just flip off and he would just say some mad shit. And I'd just be like, Storm, calm down, this is not grime, it's drum and bass. There's people that's inspired me on my journey yeah. along the way. Yes, like, pe people like Dizzy. Chevy I'm a jawbreaker, on this thing I get more paper. Watch the way I get raw later, sticky numbers and more data. More life, more labour, pure style, no flavour. Execute that demonstrator, microphone, elevator. Look now, tell you later, foot down, accelerator. Murderation, exterminator, drum and bass, terminator. Lyrical fate and decorator, weed smoker, meditator. Party time, celebrator, accru Estimator, yeah. So we want to start off with the history of MC Shabba. First of all, where did you get the name from? Um, the name Shabba actually come from uh, a few of my mates, which was obviously I grew up in East London, um, in Hackney, and it was the foundation of Pirate Radio. Um, and around the 1990 mark, um, I went to I went on holiday with my, my parents. My mum took me to Jamaica. Um, I come back from Jamaica and everyone in the flats was just calling me Shabba. It was just like Shabba, Shabba, Shabba. Like, it was like a piss take. Like, um, and obviously I was sun tanned up and I was into like yard tapes and whatever. So Shabba Ranks was probably the popular thing at the time. Um, I had like another nickname at school, but I didn't really have a name like, or nothing like that. Anyway, they started bigging me up on the radio as Shabba B and saying my second name and, and Shabba. So when I went to school, um, like all my mates at school was like, was that you they was talking about and this and that? So obviously I was just like, yeah. And then like people just like just started calling me Shabba like in my flats for like Shabba Shabba. It just stuck with me. So I, I obviously me I was just like starting the MC my MC career at the time. I never knew I was gonna be an MC or I was gonna do music. I was just like into music, but I was more into football. Um, so it just stuck with me basically. Um, but it's weird because. There was a time in my career where I was gonna change my name. Do you know what I mean? That's another one as well. But then I just, I just thought, do you know what? That's Shabba Ranks. I'm Shabba D in it. Yo, it's your boy Shabba D. The lyrical dapper. What's going on? I'm with my boy Jawsy, Jawsy TV. You don't know we're on the road right now. It's bank holiday weekend. Busy weekend. Drum and bass world is active. The jungle world is active. The festival season is starting this weekend. <laughs> The legendary bass man, we just come from this the... This is uh, B A W S M A N. Come on. Plays with the Shabba, Nikki Black Market, VR6 Done, A1 Splendor. Likes a tea and a ginger biscuit. Yo, Don't me... get it wrong, Shabba all night long. Come Can't on. forget RIP. Skip. Open up your foot, I'll show you the third bit. I'll get in the trail. Big power pill. Right on the sookie. I'll show you the third bit. I'll show you the third bit. Pussy blood bar. Real around the game cookie. When we calm down, double up the game book. I've never met my brother Shabadi in my life, but you know what? I could probably spit more bars than he even remembers. Love that. Shabadi. Yeah, yeah. Spit me a Shabba lyric. Mr. Tashaba. Go on, go on. Shabba, my little girl, what about Tadi, what about Papa, what about my company? Hey, 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 pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Pull it up. Come like? on, Where's come on. Like? People would not would know that, like, how I got my name and things like that. Like I said, Pirate Radio was so powerful back in the day, it was more like, 
um, you know, like how I picture her, like when MTV come out with the videos, that's how pirate radio was without the visuals. It was like, just to hear your name getting bigged up on the radio, you're like a superstar. And I was getting my name shouted all the time. I was in and out of the studio, you know, I was bunking off of school, keep that one quiet for the teachers, but yeah. Um, and I was just like putting shifts in on the radio. So like, I, I suppose my name was associated with that as well. And I kind of like looked up to the, the olders as like, like heroes to me, do you know what I mean? Like, oh wow, I wanted to do that. Like, that's mad. Like, they're going out raving, they're playing music, they got thousands of people coming to see them. I was like, yeah, that's. And then I suppose with me as well, with the dancehall thing, um, I was into dancehall. I grew up on dancehall, like uh, reggae and bashment music. I loved it. Do you know what I mean, I loved the sound clashes, not the actual DJ clashes, but more like the artists like Bounty Killer, Caperton. Papa sign, like they're going at each other on stage and the energy. So I was just drawn in by the energy. So I watched these guys perform like on various different videotapes um, through my childhood, do you know what I mean? And I was just, I just, I don't know, I got to do it, do you know what I mean? I got to actually go on the stage. And when I see some, some um, reggae concerts in England and UK, it just took me like the energy, the vibes, and I was just like, well, I want to do that. Like. What's going on? So where we at? We're in Brighton, halfway through the bank holiday weekend. That's it. We're at the Beyond Festival um, in Brighton. And yeah, with my boy Ian and Webby, we're going to link the rest of the team. Lamb Beyond it's, Festival. It's shot to come in. Shabadini. So I like Ian's yeah. there, Webby. Yeah, cool, no worries. Got shot Find a scene in the back there. We're going to get our rider quickly. Because you know it's essential. Coffee ain't gonna, you know what I mean? Coffee only gets to, <laughs> to a certain thing and then yeah, you need the Red Bulls and... What's on the rider? What's on, what, what, um, what, what the... We've got Shot Eyes, uh, rock Man. Um, and I've got a bottle of Moe. Uh, uh, experience of emceeing was obviously the first time I got paid to do a show because for me it was just fun like um, it was just like a hobby like I used to we used to be in like picture me going to school with my friends or like even on the way to school and it was like ragga was or ragga back then it was do you know what I mean it was the main music like from East London everyone was into it like I weren't really I didn't grow up on hip-hop so Basically, like we should just walk to school and then like you'd have one man tapping his arm and the next man just rhyming um, and then like we'd, we'd get rewinds amongst ourselves, like 10 mates just messing about in a block, tapping it, you know. Me name Shabba, me Adapa, where we come from, don't you know them, and we are rich and all that. I mean, all that, that's how I started. So for me, like when I got my first paycheck, like, and it was Busby's outrage, I'll never forget that. Like, I was a resident of telepathy and it weren't really a money thing, do you get me? It was more like, yeah, I'm just a, a starting MC, but when I got booked for 
at a West End club uh, next door to a story or Busby's. I don't think it's um, there anymore, but there was a rave called Outrage. They booked me and I was like, with the legends in the game at the time, they're like heroes to me. And I didn't really know about the music, but I knew there was massive like MCMC, DJ Rap, Stevie Iper, Kenny Ken, Mickey Finn, do you know what I mean? These guys here was like already established in the scene. Um, so that for me, that was a first experience. Like, wow, my first paycheck, like I got 50 quid. It was just like, I suppose it's the equivalent of 500 quid now. But it feels all right. Mickey Finn intro. Who's having a good time? Get your hands in the air. Wave them up. Wave them up. Wave them up. Wave them up. Wave them up from you. Don't give a fuck. Boom town. Shabba's in town. Aphrodite. Mickey Finn. As we get hard. Now rap in a bit of the rodeo. Move in the mic, the bandolero. Get a bit of mic and move your joke. Don't you really want to go? Up and down like a yo-yo. Fly with my lingo. One white on the globe. Chappers in the mic, I'm so cold. I'm cold. Moscow, with the time in Toronto. Making the wizard an all blow. If you don't know, they get to know. Never that dead, then cold, like so. I charge, I pull you in Chicago. I don't know, I can't even mind that, I doubt I'll make my never for no ho. So I'll see no. Aphrodite is on the go. Chappers gonna ride the radio. That's right on the stage show. I say, hey, you say, oh, hey, hey. So why did you got paid then? Was that it? You got paid for the rest of your shows? Well, or you not even that. No, it was just like, boy, like I said, you had little resonances where. It weren't, you definitely never done it for the money. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was just like, wow, that's just, I can't believe I'm getting a little bit, you know, a bit of money for doing what I did. Like the career wise, I suppose like, you're looking at like 96, 97, when I first flew to Germany and I was on an agency, I got onto Jungle Fever agency through call. I think I got on call at like 96, like I went on to call, call FM late because I left, I was on Rush from like 90, end of 90, 90, going on to 91. And then that Rush FM turned to Kick FM. And I stuck it out with a few of the old guys from Rush. And, Cause I'm a loyal guy, you get me? And then I got the, I got the approach from, from Eastman and Smurf. Big up with them guys there, veterans. Um, and I'd straight away, like, I'd always listen to Call, innit? As a Rush man, I would listen to Call on Super Sunday because it was massive. Like the MCs, everyone was on there. You had like Navigator, Young Ed, DJ Ron, Ragga Twins, you know what I mean? All them guys, Five Old Moose. It was like, that's the station to be on. So when I got the call for them guys, it was no, it, it wasn't a hard decision for me. I was just like, even though I was a low and I could see to my left, Weekend Rush was kind of like, it was the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Rush was done, it was Kick FM, it was new management. It was like, you know what, it's time to move on. So. And to be fair, I never really looked back because once, once I got a call FM, I got on the agency, then I started to fly out to places like Germany. Um, and I got my first European booking in Germany, Ireland, all these places. I was just like, wow, I'm going, I'm going to MC and do something I love. So it got more serious as it got on. And then obviously the money and things like that was just like a thing. But like back in the day, it weren't like it is now. It's like you had to fight to get that money. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you had to run down promoters. You had to make sure that you know, you, you, your thing's covered because unless you had a good relationship with a promoter, you might not see him again for like two or three months after the rave or even six months. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, you had to keep it real back then, but yeah, they were the days, man. Let me tell you about Shabba, first and foremost. I've worked with Skibba, 
I work with Harry Shotter. I work with icons. They're icons. They're legends. They're bosses. Shabba became my brother. Not because. Those are not my brothers. Shot is my brother. Skib is my brother. But you know what? Me and Shabba have got a different kind of chemistry. But if you need to know where you are tonight, you're in a big man's party. You're in a big man's You don't know. Black Lion, Black Lion, Lion Stilo. You don't know. Big up Shabba in the building. It's Bish. Bish. Big up the cameraman himself. Yeah. Big him up. That's a classic. Yeah. Off the hook. You don't know. This is a real life, real life thing. Ain't no storybook. Yeah, get that. It's time for the grand slam. Bitch gets back up and form in a handstand. Yeah, that a girl Papa Lee. Wake up in the face, having another man be VIP. I don't miss my way, bad boy Shabadi. With ego tripping him in the DJ daddy. Yeah, my God, strike money. Pull that machine to make a nigga not for me. I should introduce you to my friend named Johnny. And the ex cop was an old school Johnny. He was on the drive, bitch he had Robbie. She was on the side. He was on the phone saying babes I'm sorry She was in my yard, I was giving her the dummy Twice in the shower, once in the room Not in my job, getting tired of me Just like my money, bring the other brummy about the time in the game for people that you know new listeners that are watching now or new fans that are watching now what was the impact of things like tape packs back then the impact of tape packs wow uh, it was massive man because like there again that's a that's a whole story on its own the tape packs was obviously like see like let me break it down like this like the hip-hop guys the reggae guys they make tunes in the studio and then they go to perform their songs to a crowd that would know their tunes where ours is the other way around. In the UK, us man, the MCs, even the DJs got big off of tape packs. Yeah, because there weren't no outlets like Spotify, YouTube and all that. So it was like, the tape packs was the thing. Everyone, you know, learnt from the tape packs. And with us lot, it was mad because we would be doing lyrics on tape packs and then the people would learn it from the tape packs where you're supposed to be putting out them songs or the music and then they learn it and then they go to your concert. But it was the other way around. So it was kind of like um, a very big impact. And then we was responsible for cha changing tape packs to CD because no one done it in our industry. I'm not saying we actually was the first person. There was, other, there was one other promoter that, that done that. But me and Paul, we had like a business, you know, a business outfit and a business, mind, business minds to go and um, set up, you know, convert the CDs f from tape pack to CD because at first, when the CDs come in, everyone was like, what's this? Is this, you know what I mean? Like tape packs were so, everyone just knew them. You just stick them in, you can rewind them, you can put the little things in the tape and you can, all that, do you know what I mean? But now, obviously when we done and converted the, the tapes to CDs, that was a big move because then we, we, we took the industry, everyone in drum and bass jungle, and we was just like, we was actually printing their CDs for them because my friend from Hackney was a, um, he used to shop DVDs, do you know what I mean? And he had burners and he had all these things. So I was watching the movement. And, I, and back then, if you know, like the, before like the average man on the corner was selling DVDs, there was a couple of men hustling, doing it and making a good living out of it. So I was like, I see that. And he was like, no, you know what I mean? And then I think it was that like One Nation at the time was doing CD packs, but no one else was doing it. So we just took all the promoters and we said, look, we'll, we'll do your CD packs for you. This is the way that the thing's going, like now it's USBs and all that. Um, we did that back then and that was, yeah, that was, a, that was a big move because for us it was like, a, it was a good earner as well, but it was, it was converting something um, and trying to keep that legacy within that. And then obviously like now it's just, you can just download stuff from the internet and it's completely different. But that was, that was a big error, man. The tape pack error and the CDs and all that, like, and even now people buy CDs just to, 
probably they aren't even going to play them in their car, but they just have them as a, put them on their mantelpiece one, do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that, they can show their kids whether, oh, they used to go raving or have some sort of memorability to get where you're about to see what we're in or a Shabba fan might buy a Shabba tape pack and just put that and I know there's fans out there that's got loads of tape packs and flyers and all that so yeah man it's definitely a big error. So I think as we're talking we're learning that it's not just MC Shabba D then that's been part of this journey because you're saying you've done the, you've done the events you've also been part of the tape pack industry as well. Yeah I mean like that, that, that tape pack was just and CD packs was just a side thing we just did but the events, I've been doing events since, I think my first proper event was like 2001, do you know what I mean? I think that was, um, I did a 10 year anniversary to, with telepathy, which was rammed, uh, two and a half thousand people in, in, um, in Waterham Road over there in East London, the venue's not there anymore, but Club EQ, we rammed that. I did a few things at the Rex, and then like I was just linking up with promoters, um, and there was obviously you did the Skibber thing uh, before MC Convention that like we started to do a couple of raves with Telepathy. He did a couple of solo ones, we did SAS. Um, and then, yeah, it was just like I started linking up with the big promoters. I did like a 15 year anniversary with Breaking Science with Yankee and them guys. Um, and I, I just see the, the, I learned the promoting trade, you know what I mean? I started, when I check it now, the reality is I've worked with the best of the best in the game. I've worked with the best, best, best promoters and I'm still friends with them now, do you know what I mean? Like I've worked with, you know, Yankee, Paul Ibiza, Brett, Sting, Telepathy, do you know what I mean? Uh, every promoter out there um, that I've worked with has kind of got their, their stripes under their belt in one way or another, do you know what I mean? So I learned a lot from them guys, They're even down to doing Sticky with Supplier. Yeah, these guys are good promoters, do you know what I mean? So we're at Garage Nation, MC Precious, <laughs> Robert Zenny. Right, we're there, tell them what I want to do for you. Right, so we're here at Garage Nation Festival 2022. Um, it's been going for about five, six years. Obviously, we're quite old school in the scene from the drummer base in the garage, so we get around and do all the festivals. It's the 2022 version, we're here in Croydon. Come on, it's like a reunion for Iron Apple back in the day. Yeah, it's like an Iron Apple reunion. Yeah, the garage and the drum and bass we come together from yeah. early, so come on, precious. Oh, on, what you be saying today? We're here, we're gonna go and do a set with Uncle Dubs now, wow. shut down the arena. He is my childhood idol. Come on, for the documentary. He is so sick. Oh my days, I am gassed. <laughs> <laughs> There's people that's inspired me on my journey yeah. along the way. Yes, like people, yeah. pe people like Dizzy, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's someone that I look and I say, do you know what? And he reaches out, he reaches out to me every now and again. Do you get me? He keeps it real. He's doing his thing still. And like when I was coming through, he obviously took that thing to the next level. Do you know what I mean? So it was like there's many people I can say, um, but not many people when I was coming up that I looked up to UK wise because I was looking up to other people. Like like I said, the reggae artists. People that I looked up to when I was growing up was more like UK ragga artists. There was people like Bod, Rudy, like East London man, like you had people like Cowboy, Ranger, and all those guys there, Junior Dangerous, um, Daddy Freddy, do you know what I mean? All them guys, I was into them, Tenor Fly, because there was like, there was on sound systems and that's what I was into, so it was like the fast chatting, so them man there, it was, I was watching them. I was watching no UK man, there was no UK man. That, 
I was looking at her saying, I want to be like that, because there was none. There was pop, and that was it. Be your hands in the air. When I say nice one, you say brother. Nice one. Nice one. Right now, make some noise for the DJ, Brian. Brian G. Final chapter of the weekend done. Yeah, man, final chapter, bro. How's the voice? Boy, voice is all right. I can still talk, innit? But yeah, yeah. I know tomorrow it's just a resting up thing. Um, yeah, it was a good weekend, man. Like, How many shows was that? Uh, five. Five shows done. Five shows, yeah. And um, to be fair, like, yeah, they're all good places. Just, just need to get in the swing of giving quite a few more than one or two shows a weekend now. Gonna yep, start yep. getting busy for like May and June. And this is kind of like the first weekend to set it off, so yeah, I'm shattered. I'll just feel, I'll just say to Brian G there, I feel, um, feel a little bit like aching and just been in the car, you know, like you need to stretch it's out. But I'm gonna take up yoga, you know. Yep, yep. This is what everyone's telling me, Shabs, take up yoga, do some exercises. I do quite keep fit, but can always do better, you know what I mean? But yeah, what a weekend. Big up to you, Jaws. Big up the man, them. We're going to do it all again next week, trust me. Now, how important is the MC culture? It's important, man. It's important, especially for what we've got, because this music come from, you know, this come from the streets of London, man. Do you know what I mean? This is something that we can hold on to say it's ours. We can't say that about hip hop. You can't say that about garage. You can't say that about house. Do you know what I'm saying to you? You might have a UK G scene or you might have a, do you know what I mean? Grime come from all them things, a bit of everything, but I think, Drum and Bass Jungle is the the leading in the scenes. Like everyone would agree on that. Do you know what I mean? We've got a scene amongst scenes amongst scenes. Do you get what I'm saying? And that means like it's worldwide, internationally. There's underground. There's the mainstream. There's the middle part. There's the whole spectrum of it. Do you get what? people like Skibbity, R.I.P. Storming. These guys they contribute massively, massively towards that. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's only right that, you know, man go and fly the flag and do that. So I think it's so important and, you know, I pick up on these subjects because people don't talk about it enough. Do you know what I mean? It's just brushed under the carpet. I like we're nothing. People are doing raves and not even putting MCs on the flyer. Like, it's not a disrespect because it's their party and they can do what they want, but come on, man, you've got to give due where it's due. If you have a rave without an MC, it's boring. Do you know what I mean? There's people that want to listen to the music. I get that. But do that in your house, isn't it? When you come out into the rave, don't respect, you know, don't put something out there that's not really how it is, isn't it? Because even my missus, she loves going out. She's been going out for years. She's yeah, she likes to hear an MC. She don't want to hear an MC chatting on all night and this and that. But she likes to listen to the music. But she's even saying, when I go out and there's no MCs, it's, it's, it's a different vibe totally. It's time to make the people know and do something special. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what it is. 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 All right? Set it. Yo. Different cut of the cloth like short Them when I saying a lot, it's all talk Can't do it like us, be one of them poor on computer, but I four Feet on the grass, ain't in my boots Never forget when I'm on no roots Drop bombs, but in the got news Girl from a lab, like a man, no flutes I'm awake again, back inside the rave again Showing Kelly Slater how to ride a fucking wave again It's Nate again, all up in your face again Unapologetically authentic, I don't play pretend Dickheads try gas me up, I ain't here for making friends Bitches try chat me up, darling what's your name again Check the way I ante up, levels getting raised again I'll stay again 
then I write to drum and bass I ain't never had a basic pen I'm thinking outside the box, I'm never gonna play the game by the book I come through singing my shouting so they leave the heads off, lay off of your rock If I wanna see what's going on in your mind, then just creep inside then take a look Make you think you're winning the game and then Marshall spin the leave a man shook You're never gonna do it like me, cause in this game I'm one of the best mate Let's play so to the list and checkmate, I will leave you and Kaz your rest mate This is Enzo and Shabon, I'll send us a Venom for Mano SA The original El Chapo, one step your head top and leave two holes in your chest Still trying to get my place in life when all the rest are here faking That gets me raging, I got hunger to keep me patient But stealing time and I race these guys all firing out on my fragrance It's blatant, I'm amazing how I just play the beat out Typical driver, dead I'm alive when I come with a sound so wavy See with your iris, I'm Miley on the mic, can't slide, they're calling me crazy All eyes on me, no, all the scene is here waiting And I'll run laps around until nobody else can try to call me lazy Anything but average, back with a brand new lease of life and I'm valid Came out the lockdown, part two with a big beard all looking like Khalid From the next EP that I wrote for the year of 21 Doing this damage universally known but born in the UK Call me 21 Savage Living in luxury was all normal, man we're living all lavish Out of the blue, heads on business like I'm Eric and Parrish Gotta defend the team and can't make no errors I can't be moving like David Louise flows grease Shabba, you know we let them have Shabba D, I'm a jawbreaker, on this thing I get more paper Watch the way I get raw later, sticky numbers and more data More life, more labour, pure style, no flavour, execute that demonstrate a microphone elevator look now tell you later put down accelerate a murder race and exterminate our and base terminate a lyrical fate and decorate a weed smoke a meditator party time celebrate a accurate estimator yeah i'm on best behavior do shows get braver dressed up like Darth Vader dressed in black what a major it's shabba dabba dee shabba dun when i'm like a red version and i'm gonna get him on the top of the ground because we're inside the old age yo I'm doing this thing for me, manifesting my dreams You're never gonna believe in the pop of the team I'm from Wales to the back this week Make way when I break through to the sea Moving up and never never laugh me You're never gonna stop my venomous speak I come with a venomous tongue You're never gonna be I'm a never new dumb I use my tongue to perform with chung Then raise up my one finger and fuck Screaming out sticky lemon How you do my pedigree chum Get rolling them lemony blends And three, two, one, and I am off one You were not cold You were not G You were not mine You were not loads You were not doing it differently When a pair and a jump on the road That's where I know I'll see it with my icy bag can't test my flow, and that's why you were not cold, man. G no, you were not D no, you were not mine no, you were not low, man. G no, you were not doing it differently when the pen on the road, man. G, you be the minor, and I'll be the wiser, the hyper, double time and rhymer, and I come with a clay. You'll say that I'm gonna take over the scene, but I feel like already done that. Pass me the back of the beat and the bar now, and then I get so sick of dumb chat. You all liars, you all pussies. Contest this, don't push me. You all begs, and I'm pushed these. You had to take your lamb, that don't put me. Oi, that team, wanna get real, wanna talk, but don't wanna get killed. Still, you're not bad, I laugh like, still. Still wanna talk, I'm gonna be real. Still, you look ill, too many drugs and system kill I told him man, let him forget Not bad, I like, give me that man Wanna come to the war with a shank, fuck that Wanna come with a brand new bar and a folder Mr. MC Exposer, already told ya you, You're not better than me, you're just older Nobody really colder, I'm not here to take part I'm here to take over In a game full of MCs lacking in charisma or compose Sure, come with a flow so cold Make a man freeze up with a parker on Who's my man? A mic man don't lie fam You ain't half a one How's so many man on bluffing? Talk rap when it ain't on nothing You can all get tucked in when I turn up Let's put your pajamas on So super sick with the mystic heart from data collection no restriction, bun your statistics more to the tracks and streaming stats. Steaming mad when I kick the ballistics, holistic journalist when I spit this specialist skill, ridiculous fitness. Cardio, murder witness. Breath control is alien, crush your cranium in the stadium, blaze a palladium with titanium. I'm the omen, call me Damien. This gymnasium is my dojo. Blood, I'm dazing them, raising them up, but the flow's amazing in Shabadan. Back to blazing them. Better get ready for the air fresh, should I boy chatting and then I'm stressing ya. Ask question, I might be testing ya. Touch your fist and then I'm blessing ya. With a war, but don't wanna mess with ya. Ain't gonna fight like I'm a wrestler. I'll draw my gap, you get messy ya. You'll get left like a westerner. Three of those where they am the rest of ya. I don't give a fuck, chance the best in ya. I'm not saying that I'm the best in ya. Just saying that I'm a messenger. They don't like Paula Escobar. Put my name on the jungle register. Man, I floss like a big time register. Them boys know I'm way ahead of ya. Yeah, but they